This iTransfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. What is cryoprecipitate? Cryoprecipitate is a concentrated blood component made from fresh frozen plasma. Fresh frozen plasma is also known as FFP. Okay, how was it first discovered? Cryoprecipitate was first discovered in the mid-1960s by Dr Judith Poole. At the time, she referred to it as murky stuff at the bottom of thawed frozen plasma. So how is it made? To make cryoprecipitate, FFP needs to be thawed to between 1 and 6 degrees Celsius. As a result of the thawing process, particles or residue will appear. This residue can then be collected and concentrated using a centrifuge. The non-dissolving residue is called cryoprecipitate. What is a centrifuge? A centrifuge is a machine that rapidly spins product to get the heavier particles to fall to the bottom and the lighter liquid to stay on top. So what exactly is in cryoprecipitate? It contains specific protein molecules involved in the blood clotting process. The most important in this process is fibrinogen. Cryoprecipitate contains high levels of fibrinogen. What does fibrinogen do? Fibrinogen is produced in the liver. It is converted into fibrin once it has been activated by an injury or bleeding. Why is this important? Fibrin is important because it creates a cross-linked mesh which holds together the developing blood clot. What is cryoprecipitate used for? As it is a great source of fibrinogen, cryoprecipitate is used to treat patients who do not have enough fibrinogen or when a patient's fibrinogen does not function as it should. These situations are usually associated with bleeding, for example, an invasive procedure or trauma. Is it used for any other reasons? Not generally. Cryoprecipitate is normally only used as a fibrinogen supplement. Cryoprecipitate also contains factor VIII and von Willebrand factor and could be used to treat low levels of these. However, better treatment options exist and cryoprecipitate is rarely used. So what conditions cause deficiency or a decrease in fibrinogen. Low fibrinogen levels are usually a result of trauma, infectious disease, or severe liver disease. In rare circumstances, individuals can be born with low levels of fibrinogen or abnormal fibrinogen molecules. How long can it be stored? Cryoprecipitate has the same storage life as fresh frozen plasma. It can be stored for up to 12 months. Lastly, how is cryoprecipitate prepared for transfusion? Cryoprecipitate is stored at a temperature of minus 25 degrees Celsius or below. For transfusion, it must be thawed in a water bath and can be stored at room temperature until the transfusion takes place. It must be used within six hours of being thawed. For further information related to this topic, please listen to our other podcast, I Need to Know About Plasma. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.